Now, in a previous lesson, I already showed you how you could export an Excel workbook that's already been uploaded to a SharePoint library back to your local machine, get a local copy on your computer. And when we did that, we created the connection so that when updates were made to that SharePoint copy in the browser, if you went ahead and opened the copy on your local machine and used that refresh button on the data tab, it would update those changes. It would make any of those changes that you made online to your local copy. But unfortunately, it was not a two-way connection. Remember, we could not make changes in our local copy, then have them update to the copy on our SharePoint. And Excel Services is still going to not let us do that. However, what we are going to be able to do because of Excel Services is publish this copy on our local computer up to SharePoint. And if changes are made, we can go ahead and we can make changes on our local copy and republish it and it will overwrite the copy that's there so all of our changes that we've made on our local machine will be up on our SharePoint server. Now like I said Steve is going to upload that document so let's go we're not going to start in SharePoint we're actually going to start in Excel so we're going to open up our Excel and we will open up this file called April Expenses. Remember it's an expense report so that all the managers of these different departments can add in their expenses for the month of April. Then we'll take this back to our local machine, do whatever we need to do with it, any adjustments we need to make, and republish it. Publishing it is very simple. We simply need to go to our file and save and send. Save to SharePoint. Now, we already have a bunch of connections made here already to SharePoint libraries, SharePoint folders. But if you haven't been to any of these sites that you want to publish to yet, these won't exist. But you should have Browse for a Location, and that's what we're going to do. And it opened up to the My Documents folder, which isn't what I want. I have to go to my favorites, to my SharePoint sites. And under our SharePoint sites shortcuts, because I already used the Connect to Office in my Finance Share Documents folder, I have that shortcut. So all I need to do is click there. And I can save. Now, before we do that, I want to take a look. You see the Publish Options button here? We're going to click that. And I'm going to have some options in here. We'll look at parameters a little bit later. But under Show, I have the option to show the entire workbook. I can also go ahead and just show an individual sheet or items in the workbook. Now, I only have one sheet in this workbook. so entire workbook or just that individual sheet it's the same either way so I'm just gonna leave it at entire workbook and choose OK now before we do this let me cancel this because if you already had a link to that and I picked that particular folder and I have it right here I also have a publish options here button which is exactly the same so I'm gonna choose my finance shared documents and it's going to prompt me for my credentials, of course. Choose OK. And it opened up that shared documents library. And I can see the other documents that are there. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, that's exactly it. I'm in the right place. That's what I want. And I have publish options again. But I'm fine just the way it is. We'll go ahead and click Save. And it's taken a minute. And look at that it opened up that document here in my web browser let's close that for right now and go back to our finance shared libraries we had to refresh and there it is we see our April expenses again I click on it and it opens it up in the browser now it's ready for the other managers to go ahead and make their changes do whatever they need to do to it okay so I'm gonna pause here we'll let the other managers fill this out and we'll come right back Okay, so the other managers have informed Steve that they have made their changes. So he's going to go ahead and take a look and sees, yes, everything is there that he needs. He just needs to go ahead and add a few things in for the finance department. And also we're going to do a couple of other things. And he can do this in the browser. And if it's simple things in the browser, we can go ahead and do it with no problem. But remember, our web apps just give us a very light version of Excel we don't have all of the features that we normally have if we use the Excel application on our local machine 
So Steve wants to do a couple of things that we're not going to be able to be found on our web app. So he's going to choose to open the file in Excel. And of course, he has to enter in his credentials. And now Steve will go ahead and fill this out, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and Steve has made the changes to this document. He added in the expenses for finance, but we also added a chart. Because let's face it, everybody loves charts, don't they? So, something we would not have been able to do in the browser. And we also changed, this said personal expenses, so we changed it to April. Now, we're going to save this document. We'll close up our Excel. We'll go back here to our library. We're going to even refresh and open it up. And now we see our changes. And you're saying, well, that's great. That works really well. But I want to show you something. Let's go back to our local computer. We're going to go to our documents, and we're going to open up that file, April Expenses, and not a single change was made in here. Even if I go to that data and click on Refresh, nothing's happening because that connection is not made to the local copy. We still edited the copy that was in SharePoint, in that SharePoint library. We just did it on our local machine, but it's a different copy of this document. It's a whole completely separate document. Now, if I had made changes in here, Steve had gone ahead and made all those changes in here, instead, we still could have published this up to SharePoint yet again. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you that. So hang in there. All right, so now we went ahead and what Steve did was change the type of chart, but also created the chart for each individual department so that they could see how their expenses stacked up. And now we want to go ahead and get this back up to SharePoint. So we simply go to File, Save and Send, Save to SharePoint. Once more, select our finance library. And with the save name, check our publish options, make sure we got the entire workbook. Looks good. Save it. Do I want to replace it? Yeah, I do. And now, we have this here in SharePoint. And you might ask, why wouldn't I just do that automatically through SharePoint? And maybe you would. Maybe your internet is down. Or maybe you don't have the particular permissions to edit that document in SharePoint. Maybe your web apps are not installed. Whatever the reason, you still have the ability to go ahead and work on that on the local copy on your computer and then republish it up to SharePoint.